is most of the 24 hours. Hi, I'm George Crump, lead analyst with Storage Switzerland. Thank you for tuning in today. Today, we're going to continue our uh, merging of the lab and our video studio. In our last video, we showed you the Otherworld Computing uh, PCIe to Thunderbolt uh, product. Uh, right now, we have their Excelsior uh, PCIe SSD card in it. Uh, we're going to do an interesting comparison, though. We're going to compare it to the Samsung SSD 840 Pro. This is the 512 gig unit and uh, see how that compares from a performance standpoint. Now, obviously, I can't stick that in uh, into a PCIe slot, but fortunately, we have the uh, Sonant uh, Tempo SSD, and what that is is really, it's a six gigabit SATA PCIe card that you place a PCIe drive onto like that, okay? Before we do that, though, I'm gonna show you something a little different. So right now, let's just look at testing. And what I want to test first is the Excelsior. What uh, first we want to test is a product called Xbench we've been using for a long time. Uh, it gives a kind of a thorough test. I've turned off the CPU testing and things like that. And you can see we're running a, a, a series of sequential reads and writes, uh, getting anywhere from uh, 481, uh, for almost 482 megabits a second on 4K blocks. Uh, to uh, two, 327 on 256K blocks, and then that, that's sequential. And then random uh, is a little slower, of course, uh, 107 on 4K, or 170 on 4K to 389 on 256K reads. And then we'll run our, this one's a little bit more graphically appealing. Uh, this just uh, runs a series of reads and writes uh, on the drive. So you can see, again, performance is very good. Now, prior to us finding uh, and using this product, uh, I don't even want to say the name brand, but we sort of gutted a, uh, a product and used this to test um, drives in a Thunderbolt a cha chassis. So what we'll do is we'll stick the Samsung SSD in there. We'll let that come up. There it is already. Got to like SSD. We'll stop this test. You'll notice we were up around 244 megabits a second writes and about 512 reads. It'll fluctuate uh, with the different tests. Now let's go ahead and test the Samsung 840. So you can see good performance here, 349 megabits a second writes, 383. Um, but this is not the best the drive can do. Uh, and, and we've sort of known that all along, and clearly it's a limitation of our little uh, custom config here. So what I'm going to do is now going back to the Sonat uh, uh, board, we'll go ahead and install that uh, into our uh, OWC PCIe to Thunderbolt product, and we'll take a look and see how that does. Through the magic of video, uh, we've shut everything down and now we're ready to uh, get this going. So to install it, it's actually very simple. Just slides, it, slides right onto the card like that. It comes with uh, uh, screws to fasten it. I'm going to cheat and just put one in just to make sure it doesn't fall out during our test. Um, it, it actually comes with uh, plenty of extra, which is great because I don't know about you, but I always drop screws on the lab floor. And they can, uh, they're like socks. I can never find them again. All right, we'll, we'll pull out the Excelsior and plug in the Samsung and turn on the Mac. I'm holding the option key down so I can select what drive I want to boot from. And you can see I've got uh, three choices, uh, the, the internal hard drive, but we're going to go ahead and boot off of the Samsung. A 
And you can see boot time is actually quite good. Let me get rid of all my uh, various pro programs that we've got running here. You can see boot time was very quick again, very similar to the Excelsior. Uh, my gut tells me probably a little bit faster, but you never really know for sure. So let's go ahead and pull up our two tests that we were running before. So first we'll run Xbench. And we'll run that same test. And now you can see we're getting quite a bit better performance. 318 megabits a second and then 457 megabits a second read. Uh, so uh, full throttle again, uh, very, very good performance. Um, uh, right in there with the PCIe uh, SSD from uh, Otherworld. Uh, comparatively, they're kind of on the margin. Uh, there's, it'd be hard to, for any real-world application, I think, to be able to tell the difference. So it really depends on what makes the most sense for you. Uh, this, this board uh, does give you greater flexibility. Obviously, we use it so we can stress test uh, different SSDs and things like that. But uh, clearly, the, the choice is yours as far as uh, how you want to uh, get the job accomplished. Um, the, the math on this would be the cost of buying just the board versus the cost of buying the board and an SSD. Uh, modern SSDs like this that are putting out this kind of performance uh, are a little bit more expensive than what you might um, you know, order online or something like that. So you want to look for a six gigabit uh, interface type of drive and something that's more enterprise class. But in general, very, very good performance, a lot of flexibility. I'm impressed with the whole offering, the Thunderbolt, the PCIe connectivity, the flexibility. In future tests, we'll be testing uh, 10 gigabit Ethernet cards, among other things. I'm George Cobb, lead analyst for Storage Switzerland. Thank you for tuning in today.